Chair of the Subcommittee on Oversight, Mr. Gosar. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. As the first Indigenous woman to serve in your position, I know that the health and safety of young Native students is a top priority of yours, especially as it is highlighted not only in your testimony today, but also in the DOI budget. That is why I would like to take some time today to bring to light a situation that is taking place at Haskell Indian Nations University in Kansas. For those who do not know, Haskell University is a Bureau of Indian Education School, which ultimately reports to the BIA and, their and, their, and the secretary is their boss. That is why I was disturbed to learn about students making very serious allegations of things like harassment, bullying, theft, sexual assault, fraud, and more for years now. It is my understanding that the BIE investigated some of these claims and then they went to great lengths to hide them until recently when media reports made the findings public. For, your, for my first question, Secretary Allen, yes or no, given your very strident and understandable support for the Native community, do you agree that the Bureau of Indian Education and BIA was slow to respond to the concerns of these students? Congressman, I, I do want to say that I have visited Haskell Indian Nations University. We care deeply about know, every single I, student. No, but my question is, is were they slow in, in uh, 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 reporting this? I don't have a timeline, Congressman. Okay. Of well, I got so many things to ask you, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Madam Secretary, yes or no, do you believe that the students at Haskell University do, deserve better than what they've been presented by, by the BIE? And as the ultimate administrator, you have a role in ensuring that they receive the answers they deserve. I believe that every single Native child at any of our BIE schools deserves a quality, culturally relative education. And you accept the role as being the ultimate person overseeing the BIE? We, t Tony Dearman, the BIE director, is very... Um, I know, but you're ultimately the boss, right? Absolutely. Okay. I, 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 well, I, I care about every single student. I got a number of things. Will you commit to you today that you will work to make things better at the school on behalf of the students? I work every day to make things better for everybody, Congressman, and gotcha. certainly for our students. I hear you. Now, let me ask you a question. You know, one of the things I, I represent is Northwestern uh, Nevada, or Arizona. Enrica, are you familiar with the Radiation Exposure Compensation Act? Um, y yes, I, I am. Is there anything you could do for the, in this administration to get that exposure that was limited to southeastern uh, Clark County and northwestern Mojave County? They were excluded by administrative fiat. This is the Wallapai tribe. This is a whole bunch of different individuals that have been excluded for years. Is there anything you could do to help us compensate that with this administration? Congressman, we're, we'd be very happy to take a look at that. I. I know that uh, there are a lot of communities in New Mexico as well um, who have been working to be acknowledged for a very long time. I appreciate knowing that, and we will take a look. Yeah, at this was an administrative mistake. Congress wanted to have all of Nevada and Arizona placed in there, and they did not. Somebody made an, an administrative mistake, okay? I appreciate your concern for our tribal communities, Congressman. Um, number two. I know that uh, we helped settle the uh, Bill Williams water settlement with the Wallapai, but they haven't had any adjudication along those lines. Would you be very receptive to looking at an old infrastructure aspect to form a consortium of water up in northern Arizona? Would you be interested in kind of knowing more about that so that we have a mix of the tribes with local uh, 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 stakeholders like cities and towns? to work together to form a co-op that will benefit the whole northern part of Arizona? We, we absolutely all want to always work together with tribes and local communities, and we will uh, be happy to reach out to the Walpi on this issue. Thank you. Now, I assume you agree that transparency in our government is better than secrecy. Would you agree to that? Transparency? Yeah, transparency. A absolutely. Okay. So um, is it fair to say that you would consider Citizens United to be wrongly decided? Citizens United, the, the Supreme Court case? Yes. I don't, I, I don't necessarily have an opinion on that at a budget hearing here. Okay, so would you consider that all uh, NGOs, that if they take federal money, they should disclose all their uh, uh, supporters? 
I, I, I want, first of all, I want to say that if we're involved with any um, meetings, grant requests, anything like that, um, there is a process that we follow. It's closely monitored by our, um, by our solicitor's department, and, and we follow all the rules. But you agree that if they take federal money, they should be able to expose, put out all their donors? I think people should represent themselves in um, a correct manner. Okay. Absolutely. I thank the gentleman. I yield back. Gentlemen, this time has expired. Mr. Chair, I ask unanimous consent to enter into the record. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice.